All right, what's going on guys? So today I wanna go over a dumbbell circuit for grapplers, but this can be done for general population, mainly when you're talking about having limited space, right? If you are on lockdown or you can't get to a gym, all you need is a set of dumbbells. Now, the set of dumbbells are going to have to be a similar weight that is gonna help you do what you need to do with these particular movements. Now, we're gonna do this in a sequence because it is a circuit fashion, but we're gonna use the entire body when we do it. So, you're talking about global to regional movement patterns that are going to enhance your strength, your coordination, your balance, and overall conditioning for mixed martial arts, for wrestling, grappling, jujitsu, whatever the case, any type of combat sport, you'll benefit from this. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a set of dumbbells, roughly 15 to 20% of your own body weight in each hand, right? So again, that's about 30 to 40% in total. Make sure that you have that available, but that's all you'll need and a little bit of space to do work, all right? So all we're gonna be doing is again, that circuit. What we wanna do is eight reps, per exercise. You're gonna do three distinct exercises that is going to encompass the entire body. So I'll go over what you're gonna do, but first let's get into the warm up. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do is get some hip range of motion. So I'm gonna go down on all fours and it's gonna be hands and knees. You want your hands right in line with your shoulders, your knees right in line with your hips. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knee, drive it up to my chest. I'm gonna drive out and then big circle, open up, back around, and then reverse the process. Open up, big circle. Again, main thing is you wanna make sure that you're neutral on your spine. You're not bending the elbows when you go to rotate. And again, you're not rotating at the spine when you're trying to disassociate the spine from the hips. So we're going up, out, big rotation. Abs are still on and tight and back around. I'm gonna do about two or three each side. Make sure I'm breathing. All right, then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and go abduction. So what I'm gonna do is a fire hydrant and I'm gonna get full leg extension on it to activate glute med and to also stretch out the adductors. So we're gonna be here, you're gonna open, we lengthen, Drop it back down, drive it back up, and then bring it back in, All right? Do three at a time. Open, up, back down. Other side, open. One more. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move on to the shoulders, upper back. So all I'm gonna do is go prone. So I'm laying on my stomach and my chest and I'm gonna do what's called swimmers. So I'm just gonna go from thumbs up, rotate my hands all the way around and then back around again. Okay, it's just for trying to get more rotation of the shoulder. Again, with the, with the T-spine and the upper back, we wanna make sure that we have optimal mobility in there so that we can do ranges of motions and work through those planes of motion that are gonna be conducive for the sport. So let's do it. All right, laying down flat, chin down, open. Now what we're gonna do is a, a book opener. And from here is I'm just gonna open up my chest all the way through, right? And try to maintain this downward motion of my hip here. So I'm closing the angle down and I'm opening up my chest, right? The main thing is you don't wanna see that knee come up. So again, we're gonna be here. And then I'm gonna start from straight, bend the knee, open, try to get as far out as I can, and then back in. Look at the hand as you do it. Exhale on the way out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get some movement here. So all I'm gonna do first is some Hindu squats. So I'm gonna come down, all the way down, more so on the balls of my feet, swipe my arms to the floor and then come back up. So I'm driving, coming down on my heels, rolling to the balls of my feet 
and then back up. Do about five or 10 of those. Then we're gonna go ahead and go into just a regular lunge position with rotation and a coiling technique to allow for lat tightness so that we can still rotate efficiently when we do these exercises. So we're gonna lunge forward, boom here, whole position, take my hands, clasp them together, go ahead and get that lateral flexion and then pull with your lat and squeeze the lat oblique, transverse abdominals are on and just gonna hold for two seconds, then back up. We switch sides, get to here, open, pull, one, two, back up. Same thing, other side, pull, one, two, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up, okay. Again, you could do three to five each side there. Now, next one is gonna be a side lunge and I'm gonna rotate over the knee side. So I do a side lunge here, hit the rotation, I'm opening up, rotating to the knee side. When I do that, I wanna make sure that I'm not caving out or pushing my knee out too far. So I wanna turn on my adductor and I wanna rotate. Also making sure that this side is externally rotated. So I rotate through, then back up. We switch sides the other way. Come here, right? We're not kicked out too far. Putting a lot of pressure down on the big toe. External rotation on the far side of the straightened leg. And then we're gonna go ahead and activate the adductor and then rotate to the knee side. Back up, other side. Right, again, three to five reps each side on that. All right, then from there, We'll get after it. All right, guys, really simple. Now you're gonna take your dumbbells. First exercise that you're gonna do is a squat to Arnold press. So you're basically gonna take the dumbbells. We're gonna go up top, turning your hands inward. From there, you're gonna get a good squat stance. You're gonna come down to a squat. Then from there, you turn them and press straight up. Down, up, down, up. We did that rotation with it. Again, you're gonna do eight reps with that particular exercise. Don't drop the dumbbells and go right into the RDL drag row. So you're gonna come down, RDL, bend, bend the knees slightly, put weight on the heels. As you come up, extending your hips, you're gonna drag the dumbbells up your sides. Come back down, up. Keep that neutral spine. As you go to sit back into the hinge, and then drag the dumbbells up your side. You're working that upper back. So the last exercise is going to be a step back lunge with a cross body hammer dumbbell curl. Again, you're gonna do that unilateral. So we're gonna do one side only. As you go to step back, you're gonna rotate slightly towards the knee side where your head's in line with the instep of your front leg. And you're gonna give me a cross body hammer curl. So you're gonna be here and then curl. Step back, curl, step back, curl. After you're done, you're going to repeat that. We're going to repeat that for five minutes total, five minutes total. So eight reps each. Again, with a step back, it's going to be eight and eight, not four and four. So you get eight on equal sides. Then you're going to repeat that without trying to drop the dumbbell. So you want to make sure those dumbbells stay in your hands. You're going to work the grips. You're going to work the upper back. You're obviously going to work your conditioning. You're gonna work your muscular endurance, right? You're gonna work your coordination. And you get to do that all in the comfort of your own home if you only have a set of dumbbells or a small limited space, all right? Let's get after it.
All right, guys, so the way you can progress this over the weeks is you can do five minutes for one round, right? And then the next week, you wanna go ahead and do two rounds. Now you're gonna take a two to one word to rest ratio. So five minute round, you're gonna take two and a half off. So then you'll do that, you'll repeat that for another round. The next week, you're gonna go ahead and do three total rounds with that two and a half off. All right, after that, you can deload it back down to five and then also bring up the weight. And that's another way that you can progress it going further after your four weeks. So you build, 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 deload, increase the weight. Build, 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 deload, increase the weight like that. You can keep this going for at least eight to 16 weeks almost and see how well you get good. One, at the movements, but also your conditioning from a muscular standpoint, from a muscular endurance standpoint, how well you can buffer out lactate, how well you have the ability to produce power even when you're slightly fatigued, and also make sure that you're maintaining technical efficiency. So try it out, let me know how it goes. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for growing my channel. Things going great. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do so. Tell your friends about me, hit the notification, hit the like button. I know you're gonna like this video. I'll see you again next time, peace.